Hey love bugs, it's Roz. I'm back to one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, and have not already please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just you know give you a good vibe or insight that you truly need it please go ahead and share i'll be greatly appreciated um and the video i'm doing today lord okay every time i get on a subject and my tip of my nose will start itching like this is the one i want you to talk about so <laughs> it's like you're just telling me and it's like um twin flame 101 your story will reflect your glory um, never think your experience won't impact to inspire. That's that's very true. You just don't know what you have gone through um, that really can inspire somebody to say, you know, Dad, they have gone through so much in their life, you know, and they still try to find a smile on their face. They still try to crack a joke. You know, they're trying, you know, not to take life within itself, you know, um, truly seriously you know sometimes you gotta laugh to keep from crying and you just you know there's so many people you really don't know that can relate to the things that you have faced the things that you have gone through you know the things that even when it knocked you down you trying your hardest just to hold yourself together that takes a lot of strength like i tell people it's so easy to stay in that negative vibe it's so easy to be negative nancy it's so easy for you to downgrade yourself by talking bad to yourself you know negative talks intrusive thoughts you know Know, all those different things where you really are being challenged is when you're tired and you know you have stuff to do if you're ready to get to that next level of doors that you weren't expecting you know there'll be different times where that's where it counts the most is when you don't feel like doing something you're too tired or you may have a headache and stuff like that like universe will give you you know that insight where it's like if you don't go sit down and go go retract and recharge and go do that you know or it's just at that time it's like hey you know just keep pushing you were almost there you know you'll hear that little voice this to you it's like always like listen to your intuitive listen to your gut because they know what you're going through they know how hard you don't push they know how the enemy don't set you up on, on many different obstacles to take you out or destroy you knock you down make you doubt yourself or make you want to just give up in, in, entirely you know but you step still kept pushing no matter how it looked you know and you just feel like what what within myself what can I impact in a big way I'm it's just me you know you just don't know who is watching you who is watching you you know it, it's like you, you already know you got enemies watching you that's a given you know but when you actually have somebody out there it's just like where they're just questioning life within the existence of itself you know because the things that we face it, it will make you question do you even want to be here anymore you know you wake up where that pain feels so great you want to just end it all you know you've been there but something just keep on telling you no this is not how you gonna be this is not how you know this, this is not how you gonna end your life you can't you you can't make that kind of choice when that's not the choice that you need to choose you know God is gonna allow you to not do something like that you know, you don't see too many people to try to end their life and next, you know, they here, but they're more worse in a situation than they were before they even committed that stuff, you know, and still have a purpose in life where, the, you know, universal sends something towards your way where you just really down and out about yourself, down and out about your circumstances that you constantly face day in and day out. And they'll bring a story into your life to make you even like that. These people are going through something like that. Let me go repent. Let me go burn some sage. You know, let me let me go back and apologize to God because you see somebody is still trying to hold them on, their own self up, even though they've been knocked down from every direction, and they're still trying to you know piece off you know uh, you know love, laughter, and something else, even though when their hearts breaking. You know, they want to cry. They want to be angry. They want to punch somebody. They want to punch something, you know, and those different things. And it, it reminded me of a post that I seen one day when I was just like really, really feeling out. And I seen this little baby and she was over, you know, one of those countries or something like that where it, it was like, I guess they were living in very bad poverty where she wasn't eating. And that baby got something to eat. And she ain't had nothing to eat in days, but yet that little girl broke off her bread and gave it to somebody else that gave her this. And she's like, thank you, 
you know, you, you gave me this. I want to give this to you. And it's like, you know how much stuff we take for granted for the little things that we have. You know, we're not we're not being um, we're not being grateful for the things that God brings in and out of our life. You know, even with the littlest things that we take for granted, like this is it. You, you know, I know I worked hard. You know, this day, that day, that day, without you know crying, be out, being mad. I've been consistent. This is all you're giving me, and God tries to show you this is how I'm. A, this is how I want you to see how I'm seeing, and then you understand why I'm doing it this way. I want to see how you act when you have nothing, compared to how you will when you have everything. I want you to appreciate every single thing I gave to you. If you needed five dollars, if I gave you four four dollars and fifty cent, be grateful for it. You know, if you just needed somebody to talk to and next thing you know, you went line or you went on, on a subway or a bus and somebody spit knowledge to you that really, you know, gave you some kind of clarity to something that you were really, you know, in, in, a, in a funk about. Be grateful for that. If you got relieved from different energies that are around you that always just seem to, you know, <laughs> seem to deflect on you in some kind of low level way. You know, and then he keys you off of that for you can have that me time just to have that peace, just to get a, a sound mind, just so you can re recollect yourself. You be grateful for that, you know, and those are the things that constantly keep telling you. You don't know what kind of situation you may be in tomorrow, but you got to be grateful for what's taking place today. You know, you don't know what kind of moves you're making and change that is going to be an experience that, that it, you know, uplifts you, that can inspire you know 20 different people because that one that you inspired that one is just going to see what you have gone through because you're going to share your stories of hardship pain ups downs high lows yeses no's you know darkness and light and you're telling people this is what i went through this is what i faced this is what i overcome this is what i'm tackling now this is what i'm going to achieve what i'm going to overcome and just that energy you have is, is just going to wake up some people it's going to catch somebody's attention in ways that they weren't expecting no more. You, you know, you don't realize how people are probably listening to you and crying and saying, this is what I needed today. Because I want to understand, did somebody understand how my life is from day to day? How I put a fake smile on my face and tell people I'm okay. And then when I'm by myself, I break down and cry. You know, trying to see how I'm going to make it through the next day because the things that are on my heart and it's on my mind is really heavy. You know, especially on certain days, on certain holidays, on you know, certain nights, you know, that you're going through something. And you really just don't know when, when you open your life up to tell people, you know, it's just like a lot of times we, you know, you may hear God say, this ain't nothing about you, but you're going through ain't nothing, had nothing to do with you. You know, I understand you like, why me? But why isn't you? I know the energy you carry. I know your story because I made this your story. I know your purpose because I gave you that purpose. I gave you that pain, you know, but I also gave you that strength, that love, that faith, belief, all these different things that you're you going through. If he going to give you that hardship, he going to give you the glory at the same time. And then it's going to be, this is what I gave you. And it's not for the impact of you, but it's going to be the people that you connect with. They're going to need you. You're on somebody's prayer list. You're on somebody's prayer request. You know, they're wanting somebody to be able to tell them which way to go because everywhere they don't went, they don't got to stop or a stud, you know, or, or, or a pause or a redirect that they had to go back the other way from where they just came from and being able to put it on all in a different puzzle piece or whatever, you know, just to try to make it fit. And they don't know, you know, how, what, what day is going to live on to the next. You got people hating on you because they don't wish the worst on you and they still trying to see how you thriving, how you can still laugh, how you can, you know, still make that uplift to help somebody else through their day when you know you're hurting on yours. You don't realize how that's a blessing to you. A lot of times you're like, yeah, whatever. But then, you, you know, when you start being able to give some kindness to somebody else, it shows you how you carry a genuine heart. And that's hard to find with a lot of people. You know, you see a lot of different things around in this world. And it's like when you got somebody that, that brings the uplift in you, when they bring, you know, peace into your life, when, when they want to see you achieve more, when they, you know, they call you out when you slipping off, when you're doing different things that you know you shouldn't be doing, it's distracting you from better in your life, it's holding you back. Those are the people you need to keep in your life. Because when, sometimes when people, you know, they ain't got nothing to lose, they have no problem with helping you lose it too. 
you know, and you can't blame nobody but yourself. But these are the different things that, that take place into your life that where, where you sit back and it's like things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> you know, things that make you go, hmm. But you just don't know how you can reflect inspiration from somebody and you be not even knowing. You can be very inspiring towards different things, you know. It's like different things I've shared, you know, where times I get choked up, like doing this video, I get choked up because I feel, I feel the heaviness in the world. I see that we're all fighting a war that people don't know about. You know, even the people that try to, they work so hard to bring you down, they're going through a worse war than you, you know, and not even realize that. And you have to carry some kind of understanding towards your enemies. Like, you trying to understand what is going on with them to where they can't leave me to hell alone. You know, focus on themselves. Because they see something in you that you have, that you hold, is so precious, so pure. You know, no matter what you've gone through, that, that light shines bright in so many different ways. Not even realizing the more you get beat down, the stronger that light gets. Because you're showing how you get back up no matter what you're facing. And that's why they always tell you, you don't know what your experience can empower the next person. Because there's somebody out there struggling to, you know, try to overcome and heal through things that you already done faced like five or six times. You know, different ways. Because you're like, man, I've been used to that. You know, or man, I went through this so many times. Because a lot of times you got to go through it. And it's not like God want, God or universe wants you to hold that Eeyore vibe. You know, if you've ever seen Winnie the Pooh and you've seen the donkey, you know, you go, oh boy. You know, he was always, <laughs> you know, he was always in a somber moment. It was like nothing good could ever happen to him. He don't want you to be that way. Because there's still a gift of love in some kind of way. That's, he's holding you higher. The reason why a lot of times people come at you the worst because he holds you in that highest vibe, that highest value towards him because he knows you're valuable. He knows that. That's the reason why the devil be sending so many people. The devil is a jealous person, jealous entity. And he feel like whatever, if somebody can worship God like that, somebody need to worship me like that. God is trying to take you to heaven, the devil going to take you to the pastures and then leave you right there. <laughs> and be like on to his next victim you know and those are the things that keep going to where your lessons are extreme blessings to you but it takes to that point for you to have to really go through something to see that and a lot of times it's hard for us to do that especially with the things that we face on a daily basis but then you, you when you understand those trials make you triumph in some way that struggle gave you some kind of strength redemption you know salvation in some kind of way that pain done brought you some peace power of a purpose for all understanding you know and that's the reason why you know us being a warrior is not for the weak at heart because a lot of times we go through stuff and you don't understand how i'm gonna be able to make it the next day Roz, i'm tired of thinking about these things that people have done to me you know i'm tired of you know when i've helped other people and when i needed it you know they went the other way or when they see me down they kept kicking me down never once uplifted me in any kind of way they they took you know joy out of seeing me suffer in that way and it's sad it's really sad but then it's this you know it gets to that point where you had to stop making that personal you know and it's hard for you to say how am I not taking it personal but you have to understand you ain't the only one they doing that to if they did that to you they doing it to other people too that's how they empower themselves that's where they get that fuel from you know and that's a sad thing to do. It's really sad. You know, and you have to be able to pray for different things like that. Just like you praying for yourself. Let me get that compassion in my heart because this done made me hard. You know, this done made me. I've been there. Well, I just think I, I was very volatile. I didn't care. My what my words can cut you worse than a knife would. And I wouldn't care. I had that I don't give a f attitude because I didn't love life. I didn't care about life. I didn't care about myself. And I'll tell you something and be like, yeah, yeah, Rosalyn, you don't like me? No, I really don't. <laughs> Keep on at it. I say I love a joy to bring you down, you know, and just be honest about it. You know, that's why I used to get ticked off when I had to deal with people that threw a rock and hide a hand. I said, you can't be real like me. That That's when shit gets scary. You know, excuse my French, but that's when stuff gets scary. When somebody can look you dead in your face like I have no problem with taking you out. <laughs> because I don't care. I don't lost everything. <laughs> I think you ain't you ain't gonna be missing nothing, you know, and be that way. But then it gets to that point. Let let life make you better, not bitter. And it's it's not easy to be able to do that. 
So it's just like when you can look at your life and you see how, you know, changes changed you, changes challenged you, you know, helped you heal in certain ways that you, you really didn't understand, you know, different things where even with uh, the people that did the worst to you, you still have some kind of compassion towards that person by praying for them because they're facing a lot of different things in life that we really don't understand. You know, you, you really try to, you know, sometimes I don't know about you, but I know with me, when I see people that really hurt me, I always try to get into that understanding of why did they do that? Why did they say these things? Why do they, you know, they zero out on me like that, you know? And it's just like, you don't have to know verbatim or, you know, word for word or whatever they got going on. Just pray for them, you, you know, because you, you know you're dealing with your wars and that mess hits deep, but there's even deeper. Because a lot of times they fear to the fact is when you face that, you have to hold accountability. You got to be honest. You know, you, you have to be able to apologize. You have to be able to tell the truth. You have to be able to face the things that made you like that from the first place. And a lot of times you have to understand it's not easy for them to do that. You know, because some people, they, they ain't here no more for you to be able to get that explanation or that understanding. You know be able to put those pieces together to be able to, you know, make them do that, you know, and it's hard when we face our challenges. It's hard for us to be able to look at our nightmares, our monsters on our bed, our monsters in the closet, you know, the monsters that this and laying in the same bed or in the next room, whatever it should be. But it's like when you're going through things, you don't know when you are so determined to say, I'm not going to allow these people to beat me. I'm not going to allow what I have faced, what I'm trying to heal from, to beat me. I'm going to allow myself to conquer and soar, go to the next level like it ain't nothing. You know, be stronger than I ever have been. Be, be very determined to be able to stay motivated, persistent, consistent, not getting complacent in just one level. Even if I'm at the best level I can possibly be at, that was just for a good moment of a good day. I got more I'm trying to achieve. I'm trying to go to that next level. And it may be that I have to face a challenge or deal with somebody else's opinion or try to sit up here and not allow myself to be triggered by other people's wounds that they want to project on me. You know, you're challenging your own self. You, you don't care about change. Change is something that just gives you a whole new vibe of a new new to you. <laughs> you know, you, you ain't getting scared by that. You're allowing yourself to get uncomfortable because we don't realize we may feel like we're still stuck in that same situation and not realize God done took you out of that already. The problem hasn't been solved. He's trying to tr just trying to elevate you to get towards that, that alignment, that pure alignment to open up these doors of prosperity. And there's other things that he got in store from that just from what was stolen from you, just what other people have tried to keep you away from, just for everything that was a distraction to you or things that you are weakened by you know or addictions that you know that you had to use to get by from day to day to keep you numb you know all these different things is, it is telling you you hold that frequency of God there's something about you that that is very beautiful very precious very you can't touch like I say you are an enigma and a conundrum all in one day on time and that mess still keep forming and transforming you are sending in ways that you didn't even really know how because right now it's like okay five minutes don't went by but that you know that molecular level whatever that thing is you got going on with you in the atmosphere and the frequency don't went up 10 years just within five minutes you know you don't it don't strengthen in so many ways that's the reason why we feeling everything that's intense you know you hearing all these different ringings all of a sudden different time zones and you see yourself in different places you ain't never been or it'll be certain things that you've done all of a sudden it's like i've i've felt this before i've done this before because th these are things you already knew you had to do you already know how things are going to end that's why it's challenging you because certain things it's like the devil trying to make sure you stay in that docile dumb level he don't want you to remember the stuff that you knew that it's going to make him nervous going to make your enemies nervous because when you get to that point of being unstoppable they're going to use your story of glory to help other people that is going to impress them to you know inspire to empower you know in ways that you never seen coming. You know, we, we face a lot of different things that's hard for us to face, but we have to get up, 
it's out of our control of certain things is you know really just challenging us and you have to be at that mindset where if it happens so much you should be used to it by now <laughs> it's like the same old day oh it happened again okay you ain't mad for what can I change it? No. This is all in God's hands. I got to be able to deal with it. Okay, another day. And they, another day, another damn dollar. Let me go on to my next, you know, my next vibe and let it do what it do. That's when you're allowing yourself. To, that's where God's challenges of your test. Because you're going through a test every single day. Every single day. And don't even realize. A lot of times you got to think like, eh. This is the daggone test. This is another one daggone test. You be ready to say something, but he's like, no, keep your lips shut. Keep your eyes and forward and about face. <laughs> and keep it moving. And keep it moving. That's what they want you to be able to do. Because time get hard, but these times are making you harder. It's helping you remember what, what this too shall pass. This is only temporary what you're going through. God about to get you towards something that's supposed to be evolutionary. That's going to keep... You know, keep going. Like, no, don't, don't, don't stay sitting at that point where you at the hilltop. You about to conquer another hill. You about to conquer another mountain. You know, as soon as you get towards that one, they're showing you the next one. You got to go towards, and it's gonna get to that point. Like, all right, what you got? You know, I'm like, dang. Now, just a few days ago, or just a few months ago, you were like, man, I ain't got one thing. I ain't got no energy. It didn't even take too much just to blink. You know, it can be one of those situations. Then it gets to that point. But nobody can't be able to tell you nothing. You know, you're dealing with different things. Anything you would have took personal now is just like, you know, let me just pray. That's all you can do. You know, make it right. Even when it goes left, you're making it right. But for real, you know, you, you're going through a lot of different things in your life. You know, you got hidden values, frequency, vibrations of goddesses and gods. That holds a heavy vibration of amnesia. <laughs> and every single time you allow yourself to keep moving forward, keep allowing yourself to be grateful for every daggone thing that is con connected with you, done came towards your past, done showed you the rights and the wrongs, the highs and the lows, and the yeses and the noes, and all that, you, you keep ripping those veils off. It, you know, this is, it, it's not, you know, it's being revealed and uncovered. These are the things that's been here this whole time. It's just that we choose to focus on different things that wasn't, it wasn't relative, you know, relevant, you know. You're starting to see things like, Dad, this has been here this whole time. Yes, it's just waiting for you to acknowledge it. <laughs> and that's what you're doing. You know, that's what you're doing. And then when you allow yourself to really get there, really get there into your life, you're going to appreciate those ups and downs. You, you're going to be, you know, you can see how when God went through his things, when they put him on the cross. Um, you know, you, I can't even watch different stuff like that because it's just like I can watch scary movies all day. But when it comes to like Passion of the Christ and, and, and Commandments and stuff like that, my mom used to try to get me to watch. I, I said that, that would be torture for me because that was real life, you know. And be different times when I go through my healing, I start remembering back in those biblical days with how things used to be. You know, and he went through a lot. He really went through a lot. You know, and it's just like there's so many different things that was left out of the Bible. And it's no disrespect towards anybody who chooses to read the Bible. But I feel like in my choice that that's a man-made book where they, they hid a lot of different things and, and held some stuff out. They don't want to be revealed and that. like, okay, it is what it is. The people that got those kind of gifts and can remember those days. Oh, you know what was held out. You know what the truth was, but you're going to just allow that to be like you sit here as long as you know the truth is good. But, you know, every, everybody's doing their part. Even when you feel like you're not doing your part, you are doing your part. But it's going to get to that point when you when you start seeing things, you know, repeating, rhetorical, whatever. And you get to that point where I'm tired of my life being this way. I'm tired of feeling like I'm being defeated. You know, when you get to that, you know, you have a brave soul, but you got a stubborn mind, stubborn heart. You know, there'll be days you want to give up. And then some of you like, you better sit down like, nope. Get your ass up. <clears throat> you ain't done yet. Mm -mm. You ain't done yet. We still fighting. You know. And there's just some things going to tell you. Boy, put that daggone flower. I mean, not that flower, but that flag. Stick it right there. It's going to stay right there. We done. Or it'll be somebody that's trying to guide you towards a war. Hey, that ain't mine. <laughs> I already dealt with mine. That's yours. You, you got to be on your own for that one. You know, and you're going to understand. So never feel like anything that you have faced, anything you have overcome and conquered, that won't be able to help somebody else. You you are somebody's cheat sheet of blessings they don't pray for. You on that prayer, you know, you know when it, people got those uh, 
vision boards. You on there somewhere. You on there somewhere. So just know that your life can really impact somebody in a beautiful way. And maybe somebody's going to get in touch with you. It's just like, man, you just don't know how you inspired me. There's so many different times I don't question life within itself. You know, am I loved it? You know, why is God allowing these things to happen? This and this and that. And just the way you move, just the way you, you articulate yourself, where you carry yourself, where that energy is just like straight potent. You know, because a lot of times when you did so much of your, of, of your internal work, it is like your external vibrations that you project. People, when they woke, they going to know that energy. When other people are just going to be narcoleptic, like, you know, whatever. They going to know, what the hell is that? He's like, you don't know what that is? You know, shoot, it may hit somebody in a funny way. You're like, ooh, I don't know what that is. But <laughs> you keep on coming. You know, be one of those type of vibes. But you, you'll know. It's like, there'll be different times you can enter a room and your energy will speak for you. You know, you ain't even got to say nothing. It's just your energy. But people that vibrate on that vibration is going to be for you. Either you, they're going to be repelled by you, disgusted by you, the ones that just don't like that. Or it's going to be something like, uh-uh, I need to talk to you. I, I want to get a little bit of that cerebellum back there. You know, I want to be able to connect with that. Let me know how you work, you know. And be like, you know, this is something that's very beautiful. And you hold that story of glory. You really do. You may not feel it, but you do. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification. Shout out to um, Tara Simone and Katrina Rainwater. Much love to you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. You know, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. You know, um, in case you want to, it, it's all about spiritual networking, being able to help you understand or have a deeper understanding about your, your, you know, your path of purpose. I try to help out the best way I can. Whatever we speak on is confidential. And, you know, I also leave the link to my podcast on Spotify. And if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. I don't know if this is going to come out. This probably will come out tomorrow during that eclipse and stuff like that. So, um, God bless you. God speed. <laughs> you know I'm be with you. You know, just make sure you plan it so you don't got you, you know, your crystals, your sage and you know your your mantras, your affirmations and your meditations. Get right to get right. So much love to you. Whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, I'm sending so much uplifting vibrations, whatever you're needing to get to that next level for that door to bust wide open for you for blessings they'll bring you to your knees. I'm sending you that times twenty, you know, because you know, stay consistent and persistent. You know, the enemy may want want you to give up today because then you know that blessing gonna open for you tomorrow keep pushing because it can come when you least expect it even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things to really take somebody a long way and just because you participated to help somebody do that it'll take you even further much love to you peace